This is a story about two crosses in San Salvador. One is a cross made from houses destroyed in the earthquake, El Terremoto. The other is the cross that hangs near the musicians in the Lutheran Church of the Resurrection. This cross is the subversive cross, La Cruz Subversiva. Both crosses come from Medardo Gomez, the bishop who pastors the church, the bishop who calls, the bishop calls the cross made from ruins the cross of life. No es la cruz de la muerte, he says, is not the cross of death. The subversive cross is the cross that went to prison. The cross of life is a gift for the church, maybe for the library. The subversive cross has other work to do. Bishop Gomez ministers to refugees from the war. He says he's a refugee himself. He says we're all beggars. Medardo is el obispo de la paz, the bishop of peace. He calls his church a prophetic church. Now, during the time of this telling, a guard has been killed at the Lutheran University. Medardo says it wasn't just murder, it was death squads, again. Los Escuadrones de la Muerte, that operated more openly during the time of the war. The death squad murder of the guard triggers the bishop's memory, the memory of the Cruz Subversiva, the cross in prison. This happened November 16, 1989. Six Jesuits killed, two co-workers dead, and the burned typewriters. Then they came to get me. They were pastors. There were pastors from Europe and North America acting as my shields. I went into exile in Guatemala. They bombed my church twice. When they couldn't find me, they took my people inside, 15 of them. They took them captive, 12 foreigners and three from my church. And they took my cross to prison too. This cross is subversive. This cross, together with the 15, were taken in by the police. They committed a great error there, carrying the cross and those people to jail. The abuse of power manifested itself on the cross. The nation's sins were written on the cross to teach us and to make us a prophetic church, a church of liberation. The error of imprisoning the cross teaches us of the crimes committed against the Pueblo by the leaders. This cross only looks passive. Two months passed with me in exile. Other pastors come from countries and accompanied me to the police. The North American ambassador came to see me. I saw this as an opportunity to liberate the cross. The ambassador talked to the president, who had it delivered to the presidential palace. The president then delivered it to me at church. I got a photo of him giving it to me pinned to the cross itself. See for yourself. The pilgrim, this pilgrim cross made the journey from the carcel to the presidential palace before coming home. Por eso le decimos ahora la cruz subversiva. This is why we call it the subversive cross. Outside the church where the Jesuits were slain are these words in letters 12 inches tall, cast in bronze. Con este pueblo no cuesta ser un buen pastor. With God's people, there's no cost to being a good pastor. Giving us the cross and the stories in the cross, Medardo sings tantas cosas, tantas cosas, so many things. He tells us there's only one cross, and it's a cross of life. The refugees and those in the margins have been forgotten now. It's, it's hard to remember. Nuestro pan de cada día, our daily bread. The crosses only look passive. The cross is an invitation to walk with the poor. The work remains the same. Liberate all the crosses. <laughs>